What we like to do at Gadania is blend our lettuces so it's a little bit more exciting. We, a really good easy kale to get is baby kale and also baby spinach. They're light, they're flavorful, they're easy, uh, they're not as tough. And butter lettuce is one of our favorite lettuces. So we just put in a handful of each. A really easy way to get protein are hard boiled eggs. You can do them in advance, throw them on there, everybody loves them. Cucumbers, our favorite style are Persian, but any cucumbers will do, but Persian are just a little bit uh, more firm, not as watery. And man, summertime tomatoes, especially cherry tomatoes, are just like, uh, this is nature's candy, we tell the kids. And this is a fun thing too, any kind of microgreen or sunflower sprouts, these are not your uh, alfalfa sprouts, right? These are fun little guys, they taste great and it's a good way just to get a different vegetable in. Any kind of cheese you like, always makes salads better. This is a really creamy feta, it's not pungent, and it's from sheep and goat. And now for something that's a little bit out there, but you can find in almost any store, are some sort of fermented veggies. These are fermented carrots and ginger. There's different brands that you can buy fermented vegetables and throw them in there, and once you toss all this together, um, you can kind of hide this stuff in there and get a lot of flavor. Get those healthy fats and put avocado. We put it on everything. Sometimes it's good not to toss the avocado in, but maybe give everyone at the table their own quarter and you can put that on each individual bowl once you toss it. And this will fill you up. So you'll feel good with your protein, your veggies, your healthy fat. A very easy dressing hack that we do is we try to get a lot of apple cider vinegar in our diet. Sometimes it can be a little pungent for people. So we do a dash of any balsamic we use all organic ingredients, and then just get a very high quality olive oil, and we just dump it right on top and go. Or you can whisk it in a bowl with a little bit of sea salt and pepper, and that makes a really easy dressing. It's more economical than buying the bottled dressings, and it tastes great. This is our vegetarian quesadilla. Now, tortilla is pretty big, because it's what we use in the restaurant, but in the store they have little smaller sizes. We like to get the spinach one, because it's just another way to get veggies into our diet. And we take, we call it our savory one. So we take, you can really use any cheese here. This is our sheep and goats feta that we really love, but kids will really love the shredded jack and cheddar cheese that you can buy already done in the store. Then we take some mushrooms that all we have done is saute them in the pan uh, in a little bit of butter. So they taste really delicious. Of course, we're gonna hide some more vegetables in here. This one is really hiding it, which is fun. And you can put anything in here now if you wanna make it not vegetarian. Chicken, turkey, any kind of meat you want. You can also put a couple of these avocado slices if you have them. And then it's as simple as folding over and throwing it in the pan and flipping it side and then cut, cut, cut. We like to serve it on the table with some chips and salsa and the kids go crazy for that because they like, you just gotta stop them from eating too many chips. And um, you can also make your uh, avocado into guacamole and you can make all different versions really easy when people don't like mushrooms because it's just so easy to make individual ones and then everybody's happy at the dinner table, which is always nice. Okay guys, who does not like pizza? All right, I, my whole goal in life is to make pizza healthy. So what we have done here is made pesto from scratch and we'll post that recipe. We hide a lot of spinach, a really high quality olive oil. So we get something that's flavorful and full of antioxidants and vegetables. So yes, it's possible. A little bit different twist on the cheese. This is some fresh mo mozzarella. And then we just do fresh cherry tomatoes. And really the sky is the limits when you're doing this. We have found um, a grain free, very delicious, mostly organic and 100% non-GMO pizza crust from Capello's. You can get it online and it comes naked crust, you can bake it up and get it ready and then you can create different pizzas, maybe it's fun to do as a family, and you can just throw this back in the oven for you know two minutes to melt whatever toppings that you have on side and then slice and enjoy.
So along with these beautiful dishes from Good Onion, we've actually uh, paired them with some wonderful selections of wines from the Seiko Wine Club. Uh, at Seiko, we validate all of our products to making sure they're at all natural sugar levels of below 2.5 grams and are all naturally grown in a very wonderful natural setting. So for our first pairing, we have a uh, wonderful uh, Vermentino, very light, wonderful summer um, wine, very light in sugar, only below 2.5 grams. Goes wonderful for any vegetable dish, and especially a salad for your summertime. Um, wonderfully obviously served chilled uh, with your salads. For your quesadilla, uh, we have a Chianti. Again, low sugar, full of flavor, wonderful dinner wine, uh, an everyday wine for your family. Um, with all of our tags, you'll see a lot of the information that you can't find on traditional wine bottles. Uh, we'll give you a sugar level, alcohol content, and obviously the Seiko Wine Club promise of non-GMO, all naturally grown, vegan, and you'll see the full promise on the back of the label. Uh, for our final dish, uh, for the pizza, we have a more full-body uh, Cipiano. It's a blend of Sangiovese, uh, Cabernet, and Merlot, so it gives a really rich, wonderful flavor. Again, even with that rich, wonderful flavor, you have a low sugar level below 2.5 grams, which is found rarely in any wines on the market today. So Seco Wine Club delivers naturally grown, low sugar, uh, chemical-free wines directly to your home each month. Really what we want to do is make sure we are partnering with like-minded uh, organizations such as Good Onion, who obviously you can see has beautiful food uh, in front of us and obviously in a very nice organically uh, raised and made, made manner. Um, and also working with Fit for Mom, right? Because the, the end goal is to make sure we're all living really healthy lives. And all of us uh, at Good Onion, Seco Wine Club, and Fit for Mom are here for us uh, and here for the moms.